Mm, still kicking hair, very fun. Mm -hmm. So months ago, I was gifted an E. campus stratus, which is one of my favorite species of tarantula. The problem was is that she actually had some molting issues and her legs were all twisted and really weird. Can I get you out? There we go. What a pretty girl. But yeah, you can see her legs are like pretty messed up. They have, um, you can see her like exoskeleton. The fur is kind of rubbed off on them. But yeah, that back one is like really messed up. I really, I, I'm surprised she hasn't dropped the leg. The front one's a little messed up too. Let's watch her walk just a little bit. Sometimes and usually it fixes itself the next molt, but I've also unfortunately had it go in the other direction. It's really kind of a toss up which way it will go, but I knew she was in pre-molt. I knew a molt was coming. She seems like she might be in pre-molt actually. Like check out, the, oh man, look at her abdomen. So I felt that it was coming for a while and I finally caught her out. I immediately could tell that she had molted, but unfortunately I have yet to get a good look at her. So I don't know if the issues are resolved and I haven't fed her. I don't know exactly when she molted either, so I'm not sure if she's even ready to eat yet. So I figured we could just do all this together. I ran up to the pet store to get some crickets because I wanted to give her like a nice meal or at least try to offer her one. And of course, the tail is old this time. I went to get feeders and I left with a tarantula, okay? I haven't done this in a long time, to be honest. It's actually a really nice sized female as well, so I just could not resist her. So I figured we could go ahead and give her a nice enclosure too in this video since she was a little bit of an impulse buy. So I washed out this tarantula cribs large slider enclosure. So let's just go ahead and start with adding some reptosoil as usual. As for the hide, we are just going to break this piece of cork. I think it'll be a little too big for the, yeah, that like takes up way too much room. So we're just going to have to break it up a little. Whew. And that fits nice. I do want to use a little bit of the sand and stuff because they are from Mexico, probably in a sandy, soily mixture. So I just wanted to kind of make it a little bit more like home. Not that this tarantula is wild caught. They are captive bred, but you know what I mean? It also looks pretty awesome. I really like how it looks. And then we just have this little basic water dish. It's just an exoterra thing. So we'll put it there. Leaf litter as usual. And I wanted to also add this little piece of choya wood. I think that this actually really goes along with her natural habitat and it's gonna look really cool in this enclosure. So I figured we could just do it like this. And I'll get you guys, of course, a better shot as well when we're finished. And then I was trying to decide what moss to use. I have like this yellowish light faded one. And then I also have this bright green one. And then I have the kind that can grow, which is just the frog moss. This is like a blanket of it. And I feel like this is more for like a humidity dependent species. I kind of feel like this color will look best in her enclosure. So we will just go ahead and like pad the inside of the hide with it. So she has some stuff to work with and then mix some in the bottom as well just to give it more texture and stuff with the sand and everything like that. Check it out. I really like this, you know, for throwing it together with just what I had laying around. Reusing this enclosure and just reusing some old pieces of cork, the choya. All right, so let's get her in. I took the lid off earlier to take a picture of her and she tried to kick hair at me. I also noticed she's a little bald, so I feel like she is quite a hair kicker probably. Most of my brachypilma are though, it's not abnormal. She is absolutely gorgeous. And honestly, not a bad deal either. $175 for a female this size, I'm, yeah, it's a steal. I'm pretty happy about it. And granted, these are US prices. So all you Europeans about to yell at me and say that's too expensive, it's different here, okay? <laughs> it's different. So yeah, let's go ahead and just see if she will willingly go in, okay? Hmm. Mmm. Kicked some hair. Mm, still kicking hair, very fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. 
Thank you. No wonder you're bald. I'm just gonna hold my breath. Stop. I am probably gonna be so itchy now. I feel like I did a really good job, so I don't know. Let me know. I'm sure the comments will let me know. <laughs> you guys are honest. <laughs> Let's go ahead and leave her alone. Like she very much wants us too. Before we get into Evie, I actually had a couple things from my P.O. box I wanted to open. I guess we'll just start with this one first. Okay. Wow, this is really cool. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff in this. Oh my goodness. This is packaged so cute. Ah, worms. Is this soap? Oh my gosh. Thank you for your content and making work days a little brighter. Here are some fun things for the jumper kids and a soap and crystal for the sweet keeper, velvety green. Thank you so much, Stacy. Oh my God. I love how everything is wrapped. Oh, this is the little wreath. Thank you so much. She told me she was gonna send this. Look at it, it's magnetic and you you hang it on your jumping spider's enclosure and it makes a nice little ledge. Oh, it's a crystal. Thank you so much, it's like a worry stone. And what are these, more ledges for the jumpers? Those are so cute, thank you. These are so cool, thank you so much. So the next one is Memories of Violet. Oh wow, this is packed full too, what the heck? Oh, these are little water dishes. Dude, that's amazing. Dude, and this packaging is so cool. Jagged little dish. Is this a keychain? Oh, wow. It's a little dragon keychain. I bet Fiona's gonna steal this. This is so, oh my God. I love him. I love him. Like, I, I love him. He is the best. Thank you. <gasps> ah! You sent me another one of these? Well, I will obviously put it with the other two. Oh, wow, dude. I love it. Like, it's just so crazy. The, the color and everything is insane. And it's just, oh, I love these. Thank you so much, Cindy. Thank you. All right, so here she is, and I think she looks better, but I wouldn't say she's 100%. Her legs look better, but I think this back one might still be a little crooked, which is to be expected. Sometimes it takes a while. I really just wanna try to get out that molt though and, and see if I can like make sense of it. You can tell she looks way better though. Like look at the color difference and everything. I wonder if she'll eat though. I really don't know. I'll try to lure her out, see if she wants it. Uh oh, that was not intended at all. Let's see if I can get this little cricket. I didn't mean to drop two. Oh, oh. These crickets suck. I don't think she's ready to eat. Let me see if I can remove this molt. I'm gonna be really careful. And I accidentally took a leg off. Other than dropping a little bit of uh, <laughs> a little bit of moss on her, I got the molt out. I mean, she does look better. I just, I guess she's not ready to eat yet. She must have just molted. So I'll have to remove those crickets just so they don't bother her. Let's look at this. Okay, so interesting. So her abdomen like completely came off in one piece, which is really good. It looks good. Might get a little itchy doing this, but it's okay. For sure female. I don't know how well you can see that, but for sure female, which is good. I mean, we knew that though. And I mean, her molt looks like it came off all like really good. Like it's in one piece and everything. Like I think I'm gonna say it's a success. She seems like everything came off. Her abdomen looks good. I, I At first I wasn't sure if old molt was stuck to it. That was my concern, but there is none. And it was her legs that were messed up. And it looks like, I mean, unless I'm missing something, let me count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two pedipalps. I mean, it looks like she has all her legs. So I think she just needs a little bit more time to harden and everything. And that this molt was a success, that she actually came out better.
so yeah I will keep you guys updated always check my Instagram that's where I post most of my updates if you want some more instant smaller updates uh, that's usually where to find them that's it for today I guess like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget I'm going to is probably way too much it's at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring it is all linked down below I will see you guys soon let's get into the Patreon pet picks